the role of sports within higher education, we'd like to consider a number of questions, but specifically two. The first is how do university leaders achieve balance, right, between big time athletics and the mission of higher education? And then we'd really like to drill into what we think is an interesting question about, and this gets to some of the questions, why was this scandal associated with Penn State rather than the second mile? That is, this is something, this is an event that is the result of the actions of, some, of a retired member of the academic community, and it was done to people who were affiliated with a, with a charity that was not officially af, uh, affiliated with the university itself. So really, this is an event, and it did, though, happen in some instances on university property. But by and large, this was something that didn't specifically occur, or especially occur, right there under the auspice of Penn State football, or even Penn State. But this became a Penn State scandal. 